The new 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro is one of those devices that completely changes everything. While it's not perfect, it is incredibly close. There aren't many laptops out there that offer such power, portability, and nearly 20 hours of battery life on top of it. It is simply a little too good to be true. I bought this laptop a few weeks ago on Impulse shortly after it was announced, and it truly changed the way that I work. From typing up scripts, to editing video, to raw photos, to managing the channel here, whatever it is that I throw at this thing, it handles it silently with ease. So that got me thinking, since you guys really enjoyed my iPad Pro video editing workflow videos, I thought it would be fun to go behind the scenes and show you guys how I get work done on the Mac. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro video editing workflow as well as my favorite accessories to use to get work done. This is one of those rare behind the scenes looks where I give away all the secrets into how I produce the videos that you see here on my channel using the new 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. Granted nothing really changed since my last MacBook Pro workflow but even that is something that I never really talked about. I just find it fascinating how I was able to to seamlessly transition my workflow down to a tiny 13 inch ultra portable laptop. This M1 MacBook Pro has all the power, portability, and function that I will ever need to get the work that I do done. And not to mention, it does it all in complete silence. Seriously, I don't think I ever heard the fan on this thing kick in like once. Before we continue on with this video though, I just wanted to remind you guys to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified by YouTube whenever I live stream and upload upload new videos. There is so much content coming down the pipeline that I don't want you guys to miss a thing. So with that out of the way, let's get to my MacBook Pro workflow. Typically, the process for bringing one of my videos to life isn't all that difficult. I've been doing this online content creating thing for over 10 years now, and throughout that time frame, I've discovered things that worked and things that didn't. So my workflow has always been evolving. Nowadays, I'm all about simplicity and efficiency. I didn't realize it until recently, but when I was stressing thin about making content, I was burning myself out. It wasn't fun and it certainly wasn't necessary. A little thing that I found to be incredibly helpful is setting up a local folder with all of your creative assets. I have this folder stored on my desktop with intros, outros, graphics, thumbnail templates, my library of royalty free music, you name it, I have it saved here for easy drag and drop access. For safety and security, I also have it stored in the cloud so I can access all of my video assets on any device no matter where I am. Before I create any type of video, Video, though the first thing that I do is come up with an idea. I'll check out trends, read comments for suggestions from you guys, and start jotting down ideas in OneNote. Once I'm done with that, I'll write out a script in my tone of voice, copy the script over to my teleprompter app on my iPhone, head down to my studio, place my phone in the teleprompter on my camera, and hit record. That's how I film my talking head A-roll shots in the videos that you see, including this one. I bet you guys didn't know it, but this video was entirely scripted. Actually, every single video on my channel channel is entirely scripted. Surprise! <laughs> Once that's done, I film any B-roll footage that I may need. You know, like the beauty product shots, snap some photos for the video thumbnail, and so on and so forth. This part of the production process is easily my favorite as it allows me to just express my creativity a lot more than the other parts of the process. So we're actually gonna talk about this in a future video, so definitely stay tuned for that. When all the filming is complete, that's where the M1 MacBook Pro comes back into play. I'll transfer over all the footage that I just shot over to my MacBook Pro and start editing things down down in Final Cut Pro 10. I used to be a hardcore Premiere guy, but over quarantine, I really wanted to get back into Final Cut Pro since it works so well on the Mac, especially these M1 Macs, and I'm really glad that I did. I taught myself and got used to it fairly quickly. After importing all the footage and dropping it into the timeline, I'll sync my audio, cut down the talking head A-roll shots, and splice down all the B-roll clips to just the good takes. From here, the process is literally drag and drop, and thanks to that local asset folder, that I talked about earlier, the process here is literally nothing more than dragging and dropping. Since I produce so many different types of videos both on and off of YouTube, I found this method to be very versatile in the work that I do no matter what project it is that I'm working on. When I'm done editing, I export the final video, design a thumbnail in Photoshop or correct an image for it in Lightroom and upload the video to YouTube or wherever it is that it's going. That's literally it. That's my simple, efficient M1 MacBook Pro video editing workflow from start to finish. 
stylish. As far as accessories go, there really isn't all that much that I use. I use a fabric in-case textured hard shell case, a Batienda keyboard cover, a Cloud Valley webcam cover, a Samsung T5 portable SSD and Lacey D2 professional drive for backups, a Logitech MX Keys keyboard and Master 3 mouse, an Inatech laptop sleeve, an Osprey Arcane large day backpack, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, a GrowMade laptop lift when I dock it to the big screen, an Apple USB-C to SD card reader, and a Dell U2720Q 4K USB-C display. That's just a quick rundown of the top accessories that I use almost every single day in my workflow. If you want to learn more about the accessories that I use and my desk setup for my M1 MacBook Pro in general, I'll link some of my recent videos on those in the description box down below where I go a lot more in depth on those topics. I literally just gave away my entire secret. Everything that I do behind the scenes, I literally just gave it away. I like gave you guys the Krabby Patty secret formula of my life. This little laptop though, it handles everything that I do with ease and where my other MacBook Pros in the past would have sounded like 747 jets taken off, this M1 does it all completely silently. The performance out of this thing is astonishing and every way that I look at it, it's just been a complete game changer for me and the work that I do. If you're a content creator, and you're looking for a new laptop, this may very well be all that you need to get all the work that you do done. If you're looking for recommendations on accessories and such for this M1 MacBook Pro, I have a video on that over on the channel as well, and I'll link it in the description box down below. I am like addicted to talking about this MacBook Pro. This thing changed my life in more ways than one. It truly is incredible. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.